Hello, I'm Renan Erickson. Today I want to show you how to do an eight-way character animation with Adobe Illustrator from the Adobe Creative Cloud and also using a JavaScript library called Pixie.js. So in Illustrator, it's a vector artwork program. I've created a lot of different paths with gradients. So you can see these different layers, get rid of all the green. I have my different swatches here with um, different gradient um, for the green and some other color swatches that I created. So you have the full capability of creating this image. And then what I need to do is, or in the process of creating this animation, one handy tool I use is called the warp tool. So over here, hard, I click on it for a long time and by default it's the width tool so you'll probably see that. You click on warp tool and what it allows you to do is manipulate paths um, by just pushing them around. It makes it very easy to create this uh, anim animation for this character that I created here. So I have 640, 640 by 640. I have eight different directions with eight frames of animation. And I'm going to use this one PNG as basically a sprite sheet. So the thing that, next thing I need to do is just actually be able to save this out. So I save for web. And I can be able to see what it's going to be like when it is exported. So bring this in so you can see. So I have 640 by 640. I can pick the different kind of compression here. So I want PNG 24 for the alpha. You can see how big it is. And I basically hit save and save it to where I need to. So this green, green blob. Now in um, Pixie.js, it's a JavaScript library that uh, dynamically can detect if you're going to run a canvas or WebGL. So here's an HTML page. I am including the Pixie.js framework here with a script tag. And then basically I'm setting up the auto detection, um, my screen size here, my stage. I'm adding some event listeners to the to the context. So in this case, since I'm on the web, I'm doing it uh, on Canvas, uh, the HTML Canvas page that's going to be the render view. Um, down here you can see the div that uh, is uh, the render view is the is a div that's created here in auto detection and so here's my mouse events to handle moving the character I'm adding this to the DOM that's where that's where you add it to the DOM that was created um, you create a pixie stage and then you get your asset from an image create a texture and since this is, was one big image 60, 640 by 640 I need to loop through this image and create sub textures based upon a rec a rectangle size of 80 pixels by 80 pixels and I go ahead and create a class in Pixie that has a, a movie clip class and I add these animations so one every movie there's gonna be eight movie clips one for every direction and then every animation texture is gonna be full of eight of these textures that I pull off and then I just needed to be able to have a place for them so I create them I add them to the stage so they're actually visible some or I make them non-visible but I add them to the stage and I push them to this all directions array and then um, I have my animate uh, frame which uh, since pixie movie clips basically um, are frames I can uh, if if I want to be animating whatever the current animation is going on I just tell it to move across the frames based upon a frame rate and on the mouse down um, and mouse move I check to see if it's not mouse move and mouse up I actually uh, turn it off from mouse down so it's not rendering anymore Basically, I go through and I figure out the angle of which way the guy's directing uh, is direction, and I change the different movie clip based upon that and reset the current animation. So I stop the old one, make it invisible. I assign the new one, make it visible, and it starts running. So what does this look like? Here's Pixie JS running. As I move my mouse down and move around, you see this character animation moving around like this. I mouse up, and it doesn't move. And that's a quick example of how to use Adobe Illustrator from the Adobe Creative Cloud and Pixie.js to create an 8-way uh, character animation. Thanks.